Hi everybody! Welcome to Countryside Block of the Month. Today we will be working on the birdhouse block. So buckle up. Uh, we'll be starting with the roof. See you soon! Hey everybody! So I just want to um, say, well hi first of all. Um, and we're gonna do the roof. Now it is important, so you can see I've already messed up once and had to tear it out. So you take your background piece and you wanna lay it across so that the corner uh, goes over the top and that the, it's still on the page. So you can so hold up to the light and you can see under here where my fabric is over the stitching line. So I know I'm okay. So I'm going to flip it over now, and then we're going to go ahead and stitch that part. Drop my needle a little bit ahead of the stitching. We are at one and a half inches uh, stitch length, so you want a very small stitch length so that your paper will come off very easily. Stitch along the stitching line. Now I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. If you need help with your paper piecing, then just watch my video on YouTube and I'll put a link uh, in the description here. Now you wanna go ahead and fold that back and finger press and then do the same thing for the other side. Make sure that your corner is covering the seam allowance up here. Hold it up to the light and make sure that you can see that fabric from the back. Flip it over. Drop your needle a little bit ahead of the stitching line and then pedal to the metal. Go a little bit beyond, cut your threads Flip it over and go ahead and finger press. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it over to the cutting area and I'm gonna trim it down. I'm gonna leave the paper on, but I'm gonna trim down to the seam allowance. Okay, so now we have the roof piece all trimmed down at the seam allowance and we're ready to move on to the next portion of the block. Okay, so now that we've done the uh, roof section, I'm gonna set it aside and assemble the rest of the block and we'll put the roof on last. So as you can see, I have marked my center line on these little corners um, and we're gonna put them on the opening portion of the block. So one trick to make this work is when you sew along these lines, don't sew exactly on the line. What you want to do is you want to sew one thread to the outside uh, of, of the piece, of the line, excuse me. So you start right here at the corner, but then you pretty much immediately go a little bit past to the outside and then you come back to the corner. This will um, cause the inside corner to flip out and meet this corner. We're gonna trim that later, but you still want the whole thing to be the right size. So I'm just gonna sew that. Um, and here we go. Here we are, you can see that I've, I've stitched just beyond the drawn line on each one of them. So I'll go and I'll flip this back and iron it and then I'll trim this back edge or the back excess fabric. And it should, hopefully it will measure the right, be the right measurement. Okay, so next on the list here are the E pieces that go to each side of the opening. So we'll just sew one on either side. So 
sometimes I find that it helps to just um, press my seams open. Uh, since we, I'm going to be machine quilting this, it's not going to matter that the seams are open. After those sides, we've got the top of the wall. So I'll just put that on. Next, it is going to assemble the platform first. So that's pieces C, G, and C. Yeah, because. Oops! I think I made a boo boo, did I? Nope, I didn't. Okay, never mind. We're going to put the side pieces on next, according to my directions. And it is the B pieces onto the side of the center wall. Now we're going to do the plat. Well, that is these three. So we sew one to either side of the squ little square. Yep, it pretty well fits. It's a little short, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to I'm going to press these open instead of um, towards the center. And that'll give me a couple extra threads uh, to lengthen this. Yeah, that's that's a bit better. You, what you want is to try to try to have the consistent seam allowance. Otherwise, you come up with little things like this. So I think I've been in a little bit of a hurry today. Um, I think I'm going to measure this to see if it's nine and a half inches because at this point, this should be nine and a half inches long. So let me go measure that. So this piece needs to measure nine and a half by five and one eighth. And I did a little bit of sliver trimming just to get this nice and straight on each edge. So hopefully this little platform will fit now. Let's see. I'm just going to turn it this way to see. On, no, I'm not going to sew that on yet. We're just going to put that to the side. We're going to sew this part on. And that's nine and a half inches long. So that's good. So I'm going to sew this to the bottom section of the whole opening. So here we go. And again, when I'm done with this, I may need to trim off just a tad, but I don't think I'm going to have to trim that much. You could also just pin it and ease it in place if it's only a couple of threads difference. Because, and I think I'm going to do that because sometimes these little skinny strips just don't want to I want to be nice. This is just real life, folks. This is how I sew. Sometimes I have it. Rarely is it going smoothly and perfectly every time. Very rarely. It's usually some little something. So I'll go ahead and pin on each edge. And then what I do to make it ease correctly is you put the longer piece to the bottom. So I'm going to I'm going to actually flip this over and stitch with this uh, strip on the bottom. That way it'll ease into place and it'll be just great. Okay? So we're just going to flip that back. Cut the threads. Pins out. I will press this back right now and then we'll put the bottom on. All right, just two more pieces to go. Two more sections, put the bottom on, then the top, and then we're all done. So I'll go ahead and pin the same as I did before. Now, mind you, I'm not doing this to win any piecing contests here. We're just making a fun quilt. Time to put the roof on. Okay, so we are going to leave the paper on 
until we get to the point where we're going to actually uh, sew this block to, uh, you know, other blocks. Now, I will, however, trim this part away. All right, so I'll probably, I will starch this because it's on the bias. So when I'm all done putting this on and I do a final press, I'm going to starch this in place so that it will um, not get all distorted. And then I'm going to handle it very little. So don't forget, when you're paper piecing, go ahead and put your stitch length down to one and a half. If, if you set it back to normal, um, doing the other parts, get that... Uh, back to one and a half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start at the end of this um, rather than close up to the stitching line so that it's sewn all the way across. But I am gonna stitch across this line right here. Okay, so we're gonna give it a quick press. I'll probably press this open and then I'll measure it again and hopefully it'll measure nine and a half by nine and a half. And here we are, all done with block one.